Hey everybody, welcome back. Okay, I wanna tell you a little bit about what we're gonna do for incentives for behavior and for work ethic. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Okay, so in the previous years of homeschool, this is going to be our third official year of homeschooling. If you don't count like that really early on preschool, you know, where you're doing school and you're not calling it school, but that's basically what you're doing. Yeah, we did all that. But now we're at kindergarten and second grade level. And I would say the two biggest obstacles in our days have been behavior and work ethic. Okay, so, and they're kind of two separate issues. Um, one affects the other. Be behavior affects the work ethic, but they're not necessarily always together, if that makes any sense. So I'm going to explain to you how I use our behavior chart or how I'm going to use it, the incentives my kids will get as they move up the chart, and also... Um, my other, I have another pocket folder that we're going to put tickets in per subject for work ethic. So like if you work on your math, you get it done. I don't have to correct you and get on you and wait for you to finish for like hours. Then you're going to get a ticket that you can redeem at the end of that day. Those, those work ethic tickets are only good for that day. The behavior tickets they will save and earn, and on our store day, our incentive store days, they can go and shop in my, um, eh, it's late, I can't think, in my little store pocket thing. So I'm going to show you all of that. Okay, so come along with me. Let's go look. Okay, so this is my behavior chart. It's a clip chart, which is a common thing you can find. Look on Teachers Pay Teachers. They have free ones, you know. So everyone starts on green every time. So every day is a blank slate. And so they start as superheroes. And then as they go up, and this would be if you're earning your work ethic tickets, if you're doing going out of your way to behave and I just I'm really noticing your behavior is awesome you're going to gain power so you're going to move up the chart and everything okay so for this this is they're going to get yellow tickets for their behavior as they move up so they'll get one ticket per day if they are on blue two tickets on purple three tickets on pink okay and those oops, sorry those will be to spend in our little store and I'm going to come Go show you our store. Okay, and I realize this is a ridiculous amount of stuff. It just kind of keeps going. A lot of this I had from previous years. A lot of it was free to me. Someone had just given us a bunch of things. Um, but those are not necessarily the things my kids go for. So I figured those are what's down here in these lesser um, pockets. So you start off over here. These are... Um, Raising Cane's free toy things that we got that no one played with. So I put them in the dollar ticket, which they will probably never go anywhere and I'll end up giving them away or throwing them away because they're just, just really junk. These I've had for forever. Um, and so this is like a little notepad, I think leftover from one of the kids' birthdays. Some little really cheapy cars and some bubbles. Okay, down here. This, I got these on clearance a long time ago. These are the little cars. I don't even know what you call these things, but um, squinkies maybe? I'm not sure. That's that. There's a little like party favor bucket of Play-Doh, some balls, some rings. This one has, they have these. They don't use them, but they have these little machines that they, you put these cards in there and look at them so they could buy that if they wanted it. A little washcloth, an eraser, a pencil sharpener. These are balloons, Bracelet, globe bracelets and necklaces, a top set, some dinosaur glow-in-the-dark things, a harmonica, some yo-yos. These are to wrap around their notebooks. 
Then, and th this is the cost of them. 10 tickets, five tickets, one ticket, and it goes up from there. So these are some, the Play-Doh that I got, the jump rope, um, the bouncy balls. These I picked up at a thrift store for 10 cents each and washed them up and they're good to go. So that's a bunch of like G.I. Joe type things. Some photo albums, some notepads. This is like a little fun pack and an alien slinger. Um, these are like the army men. These are some more things I picked up at the thrift store for real cheap. Lightning McQueen type characters that Everett collects. And the girls might be interested in that too. It's a little paint set, the wood shop things, a bunch of Legos that I got off of, uh, looks like fake Legos that I got off of eBay. These are some more little thrift store things I got, the superheroes. I found those for 10 cents each. Then you have the things, some of the things that I've shown you. These are some like Imaginex characters, the Barbie play sets that I showed you on my last video. More Legos, more Legos. Some Shopkins, the little coin purses, and all these things I showed you last time. Um, and these are some more, these are like villains that are Lego people. Some cars, heroes, Lego, hero Lego people, and some more cars. So for this, this is going to be my little work ethic chart. So it has, I've printed these out. Um, so basically, this is our circle time. I called it Bible time because we're going to do Bible during that time, I think. Um, so they'll put a ticket here. I will write their names on them and put a ticket there when they get. This is handwriting. And also in Everett's reading curriculum, it suggests writing assignment so what we will do we'll read a story and when it gets to a writing assignment he'll do that the next day during handwriting um math they'll put the thing phonics so it's going to ping pong circle time handwriting math phonics reading spelling and then this is five in a row that we'll do and i have different cards for the different subjects that we will do with it oh i didn't make a language arts one but i need to so that's that. And then these are the rewards they can get. Um, for three tickets, they can have a nail polish session with mine. They can do pajama day or a dress up day the next day in school. Play Doh time at quiet time. That is a big deal because usually quiet time is in your room, sometimes in your bed in your room, sometimes free in your room. Just depends. Uh, quiet time play on the carpet. This would be either upstairs or in the living room. That's a huge deal because that's a new freedom for them. Then this one is um, two tickets. You can have 10 minutes of TV time, 10 minutes of like a uh, um, iPad game, or an extra story with mommy at quiet time. That's just a good way to get a little extra time. And then for one ticket, you can get five BBs to shoot BB gun. Um, 10 minutes of outside play time during quiet time. That's a big deal. Or some roll caps because they, they have little roll cap guns that they like to pretend they're having little shootouts with. So, um, yeah. Okay, everybody. So that is what I'm planning to do for daily work ethic and behavior. And I also have a couple more things I can show you about that. One of them is an app called Win a Spin. And it is a really cute app that I think, you know, just for as an extra, like if I really noticed you, man, you did awesome. You just went above and beyond. You might win a spin. I'm going to show you what the app looks like.
Okay, this is my last idea. This also came from teachertipster.com and he's also a YouTube channel, Teacher Tipster. If you haven't checked him out, you should go check him out. He has some really great ideas and he's hilarious too. So you get these little, you know, these th dots that come in packs or you could get stickers, whatever you want to use. But basically this is for like during circle time. I'm looking for someone who is sitting up straight and tall, who is really keeping their hands to their themselves and really paying attention, you know, not interrupting. I'm looking for that. And when whoever just really displays that behavior today, they're going to get this behavior dot. And behavior dots, they can use them. They can put them in their little ticket bucket. And if they get to a math problem that they just don't want to do, put a dot on it and you're done. You don't have, like, and I mean, it's one math problem. It's not going to hurt at all, you know. So it's just that freedom of, you know, it's like, I don't want to do it. I have a behavior dot sticking it on there. So I just love that idea, and I think my kids will love it too. And that's just a good way to encourage good behavior. And, you know, it can be, you can look for different behaviors. I'm looking for the person who has the best manners today. Just, re, just so respectful. Please, thank you. Yes, ma'am. You know, just good manners. That's what I'm looking for today. Or maybe I am really looking for neat handwriting today. Whoever just is making an effort to be so neat. I'm looking for that person and they're going to get a behavior dog. Okay. So those are all my thoughts on that today. And I got the little pocket store idea from Homeschool on the Hill. So if you haven't checked out Candace over at Homeschool on the Hill, go check her out. She's awesome. She makes me laugh every time I watch her videos. I just love her videos. And Teacher Tipster, he's awesome. He makes me laugh too. So, and they have great ideas. So go check them out. And um, yeah, that's all. Thanks for watching. Give it some love if you liked it, and I'll see you around.